everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michael Lover, and today I'm going to be showing you how I paint this Boys Planet inspired nail art design. And this is kind of for Here I Am, the single song, but mostly just for the whole show because it has got me hooked. I am painting all of my nails with base coat. I'm using peel off base coat so I don't have to melt my nail art design off after spending hours on it. I was initially kind of embarrassed to admit that I am keeping up with this show, but now I am all for it and I am actually voting on the MNET app. As of right now, I'm really focusing on voting for Ihetek or Hui. And next, I'm going to be painting my thumbnail a dark blue and the rest of my nails a sheer white. So you guys know how I love variety and mix and matching colors and designs. Well, I wish I did that for this because these four nails here are looking very cohesive in a way that I don't want them to be. Like the thumbnail is just so dark in comparison. I'm doing something that I have done in previous designs, which is a radial gradient, but this time I'm kind of looking at it differently like i'm trying to recreate that blush effect this is actually inspired by soma 2's sister i saw that she created nails for boys planet and they were all like sparkly purpley and really pretty but i wanted to bring in both the k and the g group planet concept also if you're wondering what that black apparatus that i'm holding over the nails is that is a magnet because i use magnetic polishes and i'm trying to kind of move the magnetic pigments into one spot. I saw that Matthew's sister added these white kind of sparkles and so I did it with silver and then I also went in with these hollow pink and blue glitters to fill in the rest of the space and I think that really adds a final touch to these nails. And for the rest of the nails, for the middle fingernail, I wrote Na Pina using black polish and that is just my way of like imagining how the boys would get themselves to keep going like writing on a sheet of paper that they are enough and that they already shine and to give themselves the confidence to keep moving forward. So I didn't quite get this in the center and I resulted to using the pink and the blue magnetic polishes to form a frame around it which worked out and that was fine. And then for the pinky fingernail, I kind of did the inverted version of the middle fingernail so I used the magnetic polishes in the center and I used the silver polish to create a frame around that and I added two kind of diamond sparkles and for the thumbnail it's just the boys planet logo and i tried my best to recreate it though the lettering is next level difficult so yeah but it was still a lot of fun in the end and next let's just talk about episode six because so much is happening we are starting the dual position performances and the first performance is gong this team is mostly made up of people that were pushed out from their original picks but i loved that this team still had a really good chemistry and they worked really hard in spite of the song that they ended up with especially junhyun like he showed that he's more than just his silly fun side and that he can be very mature and responsible with creating the choreography but i just love that they showed the whole part with him really wanting tomboy and then being upset with you know ending up in gang but then turning you know such a terrible situation into something lighter and something really positive in the end and then next we have 17 home now this team had the strongest vocalist of the whole show so i was looking forward to it and i feel like they delivered a very strong performance in spite of that little cr voice crack but and I like that they show Jung being a very responsible and caring leader and just a very dependable Hyung for the younger members. I also love that in the last mission, he played the killing part in K-Team Backdoor and he did such an amazing job. But this, he was more kind of behind the scenes and he really held the team up and got them through it even when they were feeling down. So I think... I mean, I hope this helps with his ranking. And then next we have Jesse Zoom. This wasn't really a performance I was like looking forward to in the way that I'm looking forward to G Idol's Tomboy. It doesn't really have that hype around it, I guess, at least not for me. But this performance was so much fun to watch. I do have to say there's a slightly disappointing part, which is that the killing part, I think his name is Hyunbin. I feel like if he didn't have that literally spelled out next to his name, I wouldn't really be able to spot him as much. But still, it was such a fun performance and I think all the members had a really good chemistry. And lastly, we have Monster X's Love Killer and I would say this is the second most highly anticipated stage. I mean, what is there not to love about four guys in sexy red suits? So on and Cubian were definitely a surprise, but I would say that Metu and Jung really carried this performance and they 
just really suited this concept and it was overall a really good performance. And that is it for my Boys Planet inspired nail art design. I kind of speed ran my commentary on the performances, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I am really focusing on voting for Hit Tick and Junhyun at the moment, so let me know who you're voting for and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!